Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Smart Tech. Most of us here would wish to watch the media content on the bigger screen. So today I am here proudly reviewing a brand new HD basic projector GP100 from the brand Vivibrite. So let us quickly go ahead and see what are all the components that we get inside the box and what has this projector got to offer us. So let's begin. box and see what are all the components that we get inside so this is a pretty nice box which is used uh, well due to some reasons I've got a small uh, you know damage here on the box but not to the product inside so product inside is pretty safe so guys you can see here the projector is well protected using this sponge material inside and uh, so before we check in the projector let's see what are all the components that we get for this so this is 3.5mm uh, jack uh, to the analog uh, audio ports and uh, this is a VGA cable uh, which is pretty well built and we get a remote control which almost looks like a MITV remote uh, so this has got a limited functions on this but it's I believe it's just to keep it as simple as possible we also get a user manual for this projector which pretty much explains uh, the important instructions and that too in English so it's really good so it has got pretty much all the instructions on this so this is a good manual again and uh, let us see how the projector looks uh, this is a bit heavy I would say not that much but yeah to some extent it is a bit heavy so as we are seeing here so this is a well built nice and sturdy projector which has got you know all this navigation buttons here on the top which uh, and these functions are also there on the remote so that's fine we can use it uh, using the remote as well so looking at the back side uh, these are all the ports what we get here the two HDMI ports and uh, I two USB ports IR sensor one audio and AB port we also get a three pin power socket input uh, and uh, as well as a switch here to switch on and switch off this uh, projector uh, we have a VGA port as well so no need to worry uh, whether we could connect this to the old laptops or old devices so this is quite have all the compatible features in it and uh, this is a fan uh, which is used for uh, cooling when it gets hot so it's a nice projector so let us keep all these things aside and have a look uh, deep into the specs of the projector So friends, this is how the projector looks out of the box. Uh, here we have got a manual keystone correction uh, uh, navigation, uh, which is again a vertical, you know, corrections that we can do here. There is no horizontal corrections, and uh, we can see there is an IR sensor here as well in the front, uh, and as well as one in the back, uh, as I've shown you. So we can operate this projector both from on the front side and as well as from the back side so it's hassle free so we have got a nice quality lens here my camera is not able to capture it completely but trust me guys this is really a very nice lens you know uh, it's purely glass as it looks and uh, there again on the side we have all these vents uh, which is used for cooling of this projector so let us see what is there in the downside we have this uh, a kind of flip stand I would say uh, this is basically used to elevate this projector uh, you know once when we keep it like this so if we have a surface which is a bit inclined so this helps us to elevate the image onto the screen so this is a pretty good op option I would say this projector also comes with a speaker I would say it's it's a decent speaker it's not that great but 
not that bad as well so it performs pretty good uh, you know and i would say if you would want to have a home theater kind of experience it would be nice if you connect this projector to the home theater speakers which gives a very good result friends let's see what is the information given on the back side of this projector so the information here clearly states that that's a 1280 uh, cross 800 pixel projector it's a hd projector this is using led lamp as a light source and uh, this is having a brightness of 3200 lumens which i would say it's pretty bright in the dark and we can also see the picture uh, if the room is having a bit of light now let's see the uh, information label which is given on the downside of this projector as this information label states uh, as you all can see here this projector comes equipped with the LED light which is having 30,000 hours of lamp life so isn't that a really great feature for this projector guys and there is no need to change the bulb in 5 years is what it states so that's definitely a nice uh, feature of this projector again one feature that is missing in this projector is we don't have a centered uh, uh, screw slot which could have been helpful uh, to place this projector on the tripod but uh, maybe due to some reasons they have avoided it but we do have a corner uh, screw pots here which is uh, which is again not that much useful but that's fine not seen the build quality and as well as various function that this projector has got to offer uh, let's see how it's going to perform when we're going to power it up and we're going to see in the dark room and as well as in the room which has got a bit of light so let's go and have a look at it Friends, now that I've connected my projector uh, to the power source, uh, I have also connected my PS4 console uh, to this projector to show you the picture quality, how it performs, and as well as I've plugged in a USB pen drive to show you how the quality uh, looks when the inbuilt software of a projector tries to play the files from the USB drive. So let us go and power on the projector so friends now that we can see the projector has been switched on please do note that the screen I'm using is a slightly yellowish wall when you project this on a bright white screen it's gonna look even more brighter so we can see how bright it looks even in the room which has got a light So friends, now let's switch off the light of the room and see how bright the projection looks. So as you all can see here, the projector brightness is really good and the contrast or there, it's really looking so vibrant. So friends, now that you know that this is a basic projector, now let's see how the inbuilt software is going to display all the files in there which is loaded on the USB. Also, let's go through the different options that is available in this projector. So as you all can see here, we have got plenty of options here which starts from a two USB and as well as a two HDMI ports and there is an AV port and another one a VGA port which is used to connect to your PC. Friends, now let's quickly go to and browse the files available on the USB drive and I'm going to show you how the picture quality is presented by this projector. So now I'm going to browse the files which is there on my USB drive. So here I'm going to play a few movies and show you 
how the clarity of the picture looks. So let us begin. So friends, now I'm playing an English movie and as you all can see there, the picture is looking really bright and it has got various navigation options like stop, fast forward, previous and all such things. So now that I'm fast forwarding, the feature works really good. Now I'm gonna play a video of Justin Bieber. It gave us an option of unspotted audio file. This will happen for few videos. This could easily be resolved by using this projector along with the Android TV box. By doing so, this projector would really rock. Now I'm playing a Bollywood movie which is named Padmavat. Let us see how beautiful it looks on the screen. So as you all can see there, the picture looks really vibrant. The color is having a cool tone but that is completely fine. We all can see here that the contrast of this projector is really good for watching movies. So now that we have seen the videos, let us go and quickly see how my PS4 picture looks on this projector. Now that my PS4 display is on, we all can see here that this projector is completely compatible with the gaming consoles like PS4 Pro. Now friends, I'm gonna play a video from the YouTube application which is there on my console and I'm gonna show you the clarity of both video and audio of this projector. And kindly please forgive me for the bad quality of the video in this part because it is mainly due to the cell phone I'm using. I got to change my cell phone for recording this video as the last cell phone I was using had a low battery issue. So kindly please bear with this. So this is a song. Well friends, now that we have come to the end part of this video, I want to thank you all for being patient and watching this video. Any questions about this video or the projector, kindly please post your comments in the comment section below and let me know so that I can answer your queries. I have also included the description of this projector, so please make sure to check out that. I hope this video has helped you all. So if it did, so please like the video, share it and please do subscribe to my channel for more such future updates. Thank you all again. I'm going to see you all in my next video. Till then, take care.